Hi everyone, my name is Rajat and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm really excited, excited about this unboxing because this is one of the things that I always wanted because right now the audio that you're hearing is probably really bad because I do not have a microphone. I'm just using my phone and my iPad to record the video. I think I'll be using the OnePlus 60 for the audio. Right, so I yeah, uh, last week I bought the Firefind Studio conde uh, Condenser Mic, which is the model is T669, and I got the kit. So this microphone, if by itself, comes around 45 bucks, uh, 45 US dollars. So if you want that, you can just get a microphone. But since I knew that I needed space on my desk, since my desk is going to be really small, and so I went ahead and bought the kit. So the kit costed me around seventy-five dollars. So I think it was a good deal. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers use this mic for their videos and doing voiceovers because this is the entry level. So since I do not have a huge budget, I was just like, you know, I need something that I can, um, you know, uh, get by with for a couple of at least uh, a year or so before this channel grows or before I get serious about YouTube. Right, so let's see what we get in the box. Uh, not important. User's guide. Yep, okay, so we get a desktop boom arm, then we get the microphone itself, we have a pivot mount, a tripod stand, a C-clamp, a shock mount. A shock mount is gonna be really useful. Then we have a windscreen cap, and a pop filter and a 2.5 meters USB cable. This is the pop filter. Then we have the clamp. The clamp is plastic, this covering is plastic, but this is metal. Wow, it feels really sturdy. Right, so now we get, I think this is for the shock mount, some extra rubber band kind of stuff. This is the shock mount itself. Now, it kind of looks cheap. This is made out of plastic instead of metal. Then next we have, so this is the covering. I, don't know, I forgot what it's called. I honestly have no idea about microphones or anything. This is gonna be my first microphone that I'm buying. Oh, this is the windscreen cap. Then next up we have, I think this is the tripod. This is the tripod. Okay, so this is a little tripod. This here, this is plastic. This is plastic. Uh, the legs are metal. But this is plastic. Yeah, it's look, it looks all right. This is the desk clamp. This is sturdy. Yep. This is plastic as well, but looks good. And let's get the text of boom arm out. Oh, wow. It's not that heavy, it's really lightweight. Okay. I honestly don't know how to use one of these, so I'll probably be watching a couple of YouTube videos before I do anything with this. And last but not the least, the microphone. Okay. It seems... All right, I mean, the mesh is really light, and then here you have the knob for volume. I thought this was gonna be much bigger than this, but it's really small. Yeah, it's like, it's really small to hold, but I guess it should be fine. Then at the bottom we have the connection for the USB. Uh, this is gonna go either in the, uh, in the tripod or if we go at the boom arms. I don't know what, what the thing is called, the connection point? The adapter or something? Yeah, all right. So as you can see that I am dumb about microphones. I honestly have no idea. I just uh, went online and looked for the best microphone that was available in a budget and I found out this one. There were other microphones that I was considering like the Blue Yeti, but that was costing me around 130 bucks. Then on top, top of that, I would have to buy a separate um, you know, a boom arm that would that would have cost me around twenty bucks or ten bucks, something like that. And so I decided to buy this one and just like try it out. Uh, um, yeah, most of the time I think I'll be just doing a voiceovers. And then I also saw a couple of videos about how you can um, tweak your microphones, bass, and everything related to voice. 
So that sounded really nice and that was done with this microphone. So I'm just going to use those settings that I saw in the videos using a software. I forgot the name. Uh, it was free to use so I'll probably have a link in the description down below. But let me know what you guys think about this one. It looks pretty good. Uh, it costed me around $75 uh, at this time. So I mean for this much stuff I think you should be good if you're just a beginner like me starting out YouTube or just need something to talk on Zoom. So, since we're going to be working from home, I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.